It's time for the first of our traditional UK versus the rest of the world matches. On my right, representing the UK, we have last year's embarrassment, Drizzle. Uh, and on my left, representing Spain, we have Chef Goyer. Woo. Oh, come on. And now to learn a bit more about those teams, Sarah, if you would do the honors. Thank you, Bob. Drizzle, yeah. you, you, you and the others embarrassed us a bit last year. Oh dear. How are you gonna improve on our, we went four nil last year. Are you gonna, Didn't we? So how, how are you gonna restore our reputation, Tom? I think we're gonna go uh, four and oh with the wins this time, I think, yeah. Um, I, mean, we, I mean, you've come from Switzerland, all the way from Switzerland? Spain, Tom, Spain. Spain. <laughs> Spain. Wait, can we do that, that was stupid. No, oh, I like that, leave it in. <laughs> I was Spain, okay. All the way from Spain. Shame you'd have to go home in a bin bag, so. Ooh. So, George, yeah. that's some pretty big fight talk from him over there. Yeah. You do have a plastic robot though, so yeah. I'm, m my, my gut is telling me that he's gonna make good on his fight tour, but what are you gonna do to make sure he goes home in a bin bag? I think I'll try just to um, push him against the walls and hope not to die in the first 10 seconds, but I think it will be an easy win for UK, but well, I'll do my best uh, yeah, to put some fight there. Well, good luck to both teams. The robots are ready. Let's get them in the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. So it's the UK versus Switzerland. Oh, sorry, no, that's Spain, is it? Yep, I believe that's Spain. Oh, and oh, Drizzle oh, so getting some Drizzle. big hits straight away. Ah, ripping Chef. through the body of Chef Gruyere. Ah. Chef Gruyere, it's upended. It's been turned into sliced cheese at this point. Look at the state of it. Exactly. Ripped to bits. Oh my goodness, it's made oh, of foam. Oh, the arena. Oh. Lovely, look at that. Drizzle doing a little backflip there in celebration. Beautiful win by Drizzle and the UK. Someone get that man a dustpan and brush. And also a geography book. First, he forgets where you're from, and then he throws you out of the arena. The arrogance of this man, eh? <laughs> well, that's fair enough. I mean, he deserves that win, so it's fine. Was it good to get your robot in the arena, though? Give it a go. So, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I like to be destroyed like that. It's like uh, epic for me. So, <laughs> what is it like to fight one of the most uh, uh, one of the most amazing weapons we've got here? Well, it fits really good. Yeah, it feels really good. I mean, yeah, it, it's so what I can uh, um, hope for here. Like, so I'm really happy. <laughs> wonderful. It's been a great sport. Give it up for Chef Guy. <laughs> He was clearly on his back, down and out, and you just <laughs> kept hitting him. Well, is that is that the kind of roboteer you want to be, Tom? No, I mean, you know, with the low wall, I thought I might as well go for the out of the arena, and uh, it was good, good to good to do it. You know, after last year, it didn't go too well for the UK, so I wanted to to ensure that we get the win. Yeah, I feel horrible saying this, but yes, we do have a point. Uh, the uh, <laughs> it uh, makes it one nil to the UK. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of sweeping up needs to be done in the in the arena. You uh, you were shredding his plastic armor. Yeah, I guess you could say uh, when it rains it pours. So. Uh. <laughs> I guess you kind of have to give it up for Drizzle. <laughs> Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. So the UK holds a 1-0 lead going into the next round. Representing the UK, we have Sir Lancer Frog. And representing the USA, we have Halo. Here to meet them, it's Sarah. Thank you, Bob. Nick, we'll come to you first. Now, the previous Sir Lancer Frog took quite a bit of damage. It looks like you brought an older model in. Um, that's correct. In the 10-way uh, melee, I mean, it took such an, a huge amount of damage. Mm. I was going to say, nobody came out of that unscathed, so I've had to bring in an old war horse or a war frog in this case. Well, it did pretty well in the Dung Beetle Rumble last season, so hoping for that kind of success again? I'm hoping for that kind of success, but again, I'm just I'm excited to be able to fight such a fabulous uh, multi-brain such as Halo. Well, thankfully Drizzle has taken the pressure off. We're not going to go 
four nil this time so there's a bit less pressure but you still feeling a little bit of pressure to take a point for the UK there is a little bit of pressure because like I say I always want to win with, with my boy it's going to be fun fighting it the pressure's off just a little bit though I'll be able to enjoy myself just a little bit more well good luck Nick there's a bit of pressure for you guys though the rest of the world hasn't got a point yet but you do have this fabulous melty brain how do you fancy your chances i Pretty well, pretty well. I have been across from his pit all day. I've been waiting for uh, to fight his bot, and I'm happy to uh, uh, show some American engineering here. Did you have many repairs after you came out of the heat semifinals? Well, Andy, are you okay? Managed to knock a wheel off, but uh, other than that, we were totally fine. It's ready to go. Do you have a strategy for Lancer Frog? Mm, I'll try spinning this time. <laughs> <laughs> that always works when you're a melty brain. Yeah, usually. Good luck USA representing the rest of the world and good luck Lancer Frog representing the UK. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one. Begin. Now, so Lancer Frog here really has to go for a box rush to stop Halo from spinning up. They have managed to do it. Halo trying to get up to speed, but as long as the Lancer Frog stays on him, they minimize the big hit. Oh, again with the, the hockey pucking tactic. Play some pinball, which get some bumpers in that arena and get a good high score off of this, because they're going off at every wall imaginable. <laughs> this is absolute madness. Really it's colorful madness. Oh, it actually is like our hockey, Sir Lancer Frog doesn't know how to keep up. Halo's destroying itself. Halo is, is destroying itself, that's the electronics! <laughs> it's just eaten its own face! I've never nine, seen that eight, weapon before. Seven, Take your internals six, out, throw five, it at your opponents. That's the equivalent of just one, ripping out your own intestines and strangling someone to death with them. That's a truly horrific image wow, there, Alistair, thanks for that. That's never happened before. Look, the plastic broke. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, Commiserations, Team Halo, what happened there? Uh, looks like our battery box shattered, uh, and then the battery fell out. Well, it would do that. Um, what, do you know what caused it? You were bouncing around the arena like a hockey puck. Uh, it, was, it was fantastic to watch, but you didn't seem to be doing much fighting. Well, the bouncing is normal. Um, <laughs> I, I expected that. Uh, this is a new failure mode for us, so uh, good, more test data. <laughs> So it's been brilliant having you along this time. Have you enjoyed your time on Bugglebots? Oh, absolutely. This has been awesome. And we, you've been awesome to watch. Are you going to come back next time with an improved Halo ready to smash up some more? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> awesome. Give it up for Team Halo! You didn't really have to do much in that fight, Nick, but you got the point for the UK. It's 2-0. How does that feel? It feels pretty good. I did have, I did catch myself during that fight just uh, chasing it around the arena, and then I thought, I'm just wasting battery doing this. I'll, just, <laughs> I'll park in the middle and wait for them to come to a halt. And in the end, they did. And so, yeah, it's, is that one of your easier victories since you've been fighting robots? Um, there's no easy victories in this sport. I mean, and like any any one good hit can change the outcome of a match. So it, you always have to be careful when you're fighting anything, especially spinners. Absolutely. And in the end, you, you didn't have to move much, but it was still a satisfactory evasive action. That makes it 2-0 to the UK. Give it up for Sir Lancer Frog! <laughs> So it's 2-0 to the UK after those fights. Now, in the next round, we've got representing the UK, Maximum Ogre Drive, and representing the Netherlands, Hold My Beer, or Plastic Cup. To find out more about them, let's have Sarah. Thank you, Bob. Sam, you've got to get another point for the UK. We're 2-0 we're up. We've got to get another point. How are you going to do it? I don't know. What the hell do I do to that thing? I'll just cut him until he stops, I guess. I mean, he's got lots of tasty plastic for you. You could get into his batteries, maybe? Yeah, we'll try. If it if it carries on working, it should be fine. Well, good luck, Sam. Hold my cup. How are you doing? I decided to change tactics, um, go with water. Okay. Uh, maybe be a little bit more focused on driving <laughs> and winning this time. So, we'll see. Well, good luck. Hold my water. <laughs> the robots are ready. Let's get them in the arena. <laughs> Roboteers, 
get ready. Three, two, one, begin. Oh, hold my beer, already flipping itself up and over and around as Maximum Overdrive gives chase to bring that overhead articulated saw down into the vulnerable plastic. Overdrive looking to get a good pin on this and bring that saw down on the top of it. Right, nearly had a moment there, but uh, hold my beer, he managed to get out there, but, oh, this will be interesting because these are two control style robots. The only advantage I can see is that Ogre Drive has the saw, whereas Hold My Beer doesn't really have any offensive ability. Hit Hold My Beer neighbor. actually acting more like a thwack bot out there, bringing those claws up and over. Down goes the pit, meanwhile. Both of these machines designed technically as control bots, so one has to grab the other and push them down the pit now. Hold My Beer is looking very vulnerable now. Maximum Ogre Drive trying to line up that shot. We have a, Ogre Drive was um, very unfortunate during the main competition. He had electronic problems and couldn't continue. But hold my beer. I remember Jerome was saying at one point that he struggles to remember which way is up because he's made both bits look the same. I wonder if he's fixed that for this fight. I think maybe he's been holding one too many beers there as he veered very, very close to that pit. Hold my beer is definitely the lesser well-driven bot in this fight. And that may prove crucial. Maximum Ogre Drive just, oh, caught now by the claws of Hold My Beer. You can see it's desperately trying to get traction. The wheels are spinning, but it wasn't going anywhere. Maximum Ogre Drive, oh, just squeaking away from the edge of eternity. Maximum Ogre Drive getting clear of the pit. Ah, you can see it. Hold My Beer has got two stickers on the bottom, so you can tell which way is the top and which way is the bottom. That's a clever, low-tech tactic right there from Euroan. I'm a bit disappointed. I haven't seen Ogre Drive saw yet. I've not brought it down. Keep... Oh. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> that was on a knife's edge. Oh. And hold my beer almost into the pit now as well. Ogre Drive looking to get... It's... It held back there. It had an opportunity to get in and really hack into the side of hold my beer. So that will count against him. Against... Oh, no! Oh, no! no! Drunk driving yet again. Just as I'm saying, go to the judges, hold my beer, commit suicide. The Netherlands team there, hiding their flag. That is crying over spilled beer. Well, Jerome, so much for sobriety. Have you gone back to the beer? Because it wasn't working. Well, it was. His, his saw died of fear immediately. And I was winning. And then I think Tim was pushing me. So... Ref interference. Are you are you crying foul play? Yes. You're crying foul play, not terrible driving. At the end, my robot it just I was controlling it, but it didn't respond. So it you controlled it into the pit. No, no, no. That was not me. That was. <laughs> it was the beer talking. Uh, something happened, but it wasn't me. Well, it was a, a, a valiant performance against a very very strong pushing robot. Have you enjoyed yourself? It was so much fun. Brilliant. Are you going to be back with a better bot next time? Back with the beer. Uh, better bot. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Give it up for Hold My Beer! <laughs> Your saw didn't work, but you didn't need it in the end. No, I mean, it's, it's still a good sort of pushing robot, and it's, it's good control bot. Saw's so just not happy at the moment, but... Well, we're happy because it puts the UK 3-0 up. Give it up for Maximum Overdrive! <laughs> the score is 3-0 to the UK, and it's time for the next battle. Representing the UK, we have Gear Down for what? And representing China, we have Unconscious 514. Here to tell us more is Sarah. Thank you, Bob. Gareth didn't do Overly well in the competition, hoping to redeem yourself a bit now and get another point for the UK? Absolutely, that's what we're here to do. Did you have many repairs after your last fight? No, I just lost the link, so I've got my backup link now, which sticks in a little bit tighter. So, <laughs> we'll see. Is it still as quick as it was last fight? So it should be a little bit slower, but it'll still be plenty quick enough. We'll see. Well, good luck. Shirumi, the rest of the world team isn't doing very well at the moment. Yeah. Are you hopefully going to claw a point back for the rest of the world team? Sure. They don't have a half armor, so it's easy to penetrate. 
So you're hoping to give him a nice bite. Yeah, sure. Well, good luck. Good luck to both teams. The robots are ready. Let's get them in the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. It's time for Gear Down for What? Versus Unconscious 514 with the powerful crusher. That's the trouble with Gear Down for What with those brushless motors. It's just, it, it acts like a manic little insect out there. So impossibly hard to control, so impossibly hard to catch as Unconscious 514 is discovering. Oh, well, that's, that's me shut up now. Unconscious 514 nearly getting a bite on it, but gear down for what? Getting out of there in a hurry. Oh! And is Unconscious 514 stuck in the corner? It's stuck upside down. It's struggling to self right. But gear down for what is so manic, he's self right at his opponent. That axe is swinging a bite like Jack Nicholson in a hotel. Gear down for what? They're just powering through. Going straight under the wedge on gear down for what is fantastic, but the problem is the wedge on the front of unconscious 514 is equally as good, so it's very much a 50 50 game of who gets under who. The pit is now open. Both of these machines very quick across the arena floor. Any one of them could end up inside it. Gear down for what now? Has appeared to have stopped. Has stopped, yes, but is pressurizing. Unconscious 514 into the side wall there. Unconscious 514, to me, looking a little more slow, a little more sluggish than it was before. Gear down for what appears to be having difficulty with the axe. He had them pinned there, tried to bring it in, and it just wouldn't move. This is where the driving oh, matters. Beautiful, oh, and uh, they committed suicide. And then to the pit, they both go. Pushes them in the pit and then decides to join them. Shirumi, was he just too quick for you to get hold of? Yeah, he's too quick. I kind of get my crusher down. You did get, you got him in your grasp a couple of times, but he managed to wriggle free. But it was a good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a great fight. It's, it's just this point, my robot doesn't work that, as I think. But have you had a good time while you've been here? Yeah, sure. Are you going to come back next time? Yeah, I will come back to build a, and build a better robot than this. I look forward to seeing it. Give it up for Unconscious 514! <laughs> you got him into the pit and decided you'd join him. Yep, that's my signature move. It's what you get for trying to showboat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm going in to finish the job! <laughs> um, you just, you were too quick for him in the end. Yep, that's the power of direct drive brushless. All the speed, none of the control. And it's, it's very fun. It was certainly very fun to watch. So that makes it 4-0 to the UK. Are you happy with that? I'm very happy with that. Wonderful. We continue to turn the screw. Give it up for Gear Down For What? <laughs> Good fun. Good fun. So that concludes our UK versus the rest of the world, and it's gone significantly better for us Brits this time around. After a 4-0 defeat last year, it's a 4-0 win this time. Give it up for Team UK! <laughs> And commiserations, give it up for the team rest of the world! <laughs> we'll see you around on Bugglebots! <laughs>